Hi students, welcome back to my channel. Okay, in this video, so we'd like to explain a question from the subtopic of indices. Okay, so hope that uh, this video can give you uh, some benefits uh, for you to understand this question. Okay, let us move on to the question class. Okay, so this is your question class. You can, I think you can see yourself there. It's if z with the power of 1 over 2 equals to x with the power of 1 over 2 plus y with the power of 1 over 2. Okay, this is a given things for us. So this is a given. This is a given, right? This is z a power with 1 over 2 equals to x. Okay, this is a given. Huh? given. So we're going to use these given things. Okay, we're going to use this to prove this. So you're going to prove this. Okay, understand? So uh, while you are doing the proof things, so you can use this part, okay, to do anything inside that proving. Okay, okay, this is the proving things class. So we have a two side here. I think everybody should know about this. This is a, a left hand side, and this is the right hand side. So we're going to take uh, any side to prove to another side, right? So I normally advise my students to choose a complex side. So if you look at this one, your left hand side is look more complex, right? Your left hand side look more complex. So I think I'm going to start with my left hand side. So I'm going to take my left hand side and prove to the right hand side. So the right hand, right hand side, we only have x, sorry, 4xy, 4xy. If you, if you see this one clearly, right, there's no z there, right? So that means they already substitute the z. So when you substitute z, that means z will uh, disappear, right? Okay, so I think here in the given information here, they already provide us the z. The only thing is a z with the power 102. This is actually a square root, right? So I can, I think I can arrange like this. So z is going to be, I also can be done this. z equals to x102 with a square here, right? I think this is much more better. Okay, so later you can substitute uh, the, this z inside that our equation. Okay, so let us start. So I'm going to start from left hand side. So ready class, huh? So I'm going to start with left hand side. Okay, so this is our left hand side, right? This is our left hand side. So I'm going to put in this format, easy for you to understand. You see, huh? let me show you here. So this is x plus y, I make it as a group here, minus z. Okay, maybe you can ask me, so why we have to do that? Okay, I will explain, don't worry. So when we expand a quadratic, right? So normally inside the quadratic, we'll only have two terms, right? For us to expand. You still remember? I just put minus for you here. Why minus? Uh, I can see minus here, right? So that's why I put minus. So how you expand this? I think this is an easy one for you to expand, right? So this one going to be A square. This one going to be B square. So the center point will be all the times, all the multiples. So two times A times B is negative two AB, right? So this is how you expand, right? So same thing here. So this whole thing going to represent as a A and this one going to represent as a B, understand? Huh? Okay, so let me explain. So let me expand, sorry. X plus Y square minus 2Z X plus Y plus Z square. Okay, got it, huh? Okay, I'm going to remove this. Okay. So after that, after that, I don't want to disturb the xy. Whatever xy, I don't want to disturb. Okay. Because uh, our final answer should have xy, right? So I think xy, we don't need to disturb first. Okay. You can you see these two things here, the two things here, the two terms here, sorry, with the z. So I think I can factorize z. I factorize z, that means I will have a z in front. Okay, this uh, z square, I put it in front here. That's why z times z is z square. Okay, that's why you can see a positive over here. Okay, so this negative will be here, negative 2. So I think this one I need to change the bracket. Got it. Try to understand. If you are, huh? So actually, I already done like this. I put the z square in front, uh, minus 2z uh, x plus y. Like this, so I factorize the z. Understand? Okay, so I factorize the z. So I'm using this format. Okay. 
Okay, class, so far, understand? Okay, and then one more thing I need to explain to you. This is a suggestion answer, class. Maybe your, your, your lecturer or your tutor or whatever, they maybe might have a, a very a different type of answer, understand? So you can discuss and see which part, which is uh, more uh, understandable for you, right? Okay, you choose that part, okay? So I think uh, once you understand this, I think you can do with your own idea also. What we need for maths is we need an idea, okay? So after that, what I'm going to do here, is an uh, x plus y square plus, so z, I think I can substitute with this. So this is my z here. That is x, x1 over 2 plus y with 1 over 2, and then we have the square there. Sorry, sorry no square, sorry. This one. And this is the bracket, right? X1 over 2. Oh, sorry, they have a square here. Sorry, I forgot to put a square there. There's a square here. So it's a plus y square minus 2x plus y. Wow, well, it's become bigger and bigger. Okay, never mind. So... You don't better don't expand this. I think I scared if you expand this, it's going to be the equation going to be longer, right? Better don't. Okay, I'm going to expand this. I'm going to expand this. Okay, I think you understand how to expand this. Listen, I just put it here. It's easy for you to understand. So you need to square this, right? You need to square like this, right? This one is going to be plus 2, uh, x1 over 2, y1 over 2. And this one, when you square, is going to be y1 over 2 square, right? So this whole thing, when you square, this is a square root, actually. Square root, when you square, it's become x, right? Okay, so hope that you understand. Huh? It's going to be x. Okay, got it. Okay, this one I'm going to expand. The whole thing I'm going to expand. So again, same thing like last. You just can copy back. Got it, huh? Understand? Okay. I'm going to arrange something for you here so that hope that you understand this step. Okay, listen, huh? Okay. I just take this one. I put it in front and then x plus y I put separate for you in a one bracket. Okay, look at this one. X and this one is going to be negative x, right? It's going to be negative x. Negative x. And this y and this y is going to be negative y. So can I factorize them? I put negative outside and then the x plus y will be inside, right? Understand, right? Same thing, right? Hope that you understand, huh? Because the x here, x, the, the negative x, negative 2 x is going to be negative x, right? When you solve it, negative x. And then after that, the plus y with the negative 2 y going to be negative y, right? Okay, good. So we, when you factorize them, you can take out the negative, then inside going to be positive like this. Understand, huh? Okay. So maybe you're asking, sir, why you're doing like this? Okay, I give you the idea. If you look at this two bracket, if you look at this two bracket, actually they are, came from like this. Look at this one. A square minus B square. Still remember this one. It's going to be A plus B. A minus B, right? You understand, right, this one? So I can see the thing there. You see, this is the A. And this is the B. The middle is plus. And this is the A. And this is a B. And the middle is minus. So I can see the A plus B, A minus B. Understand? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to arrange for you in one more slide. Get ready, yeah? Okay, I go back here. So this is your a square. This is your a and this is your b, right? Okay, you need to 
you can put them in this format. This two y sorry two x one over two y with one over two. Okay, and don't forget the square because it's a square minus b square minus b square. So if you look at the b, this is your b, right? This is your b. So this one need to be square. This is x minus x plus y square. Can you see some some good news here? The x square and x square same one is minus. So you can cut this on out. So when you square this, when you square this, the two square is going to be four. Square root uh, uh, x with the one or two square means it's going to be x. Y. Done. We already done the proving. Proven. Understand class? Okay, so hope that this uh, video will give you some benefits and some idea. Okay, what I need is simple. Go through the video a few times. Try to understand. Okay. Once you have an idea, you can mingle with this question with your own methods. With the own idea. Sometimes I tell you, some students can go very fast. Understand? So what we need is, we need to deliver them a good idea. Okay? So hope that you enjoy this video. And uh, make sure share this video with your friends and ask them to subscribe for me. Thank you class. Have a nice day.